We are at Grand Tier Restaurant at the Metropolitan Opera, and I am here with one of its stars, Maria Agresta. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, too. You have collaborated with the restaurant on some of your recipes. What does an opera star need with an extra job <laughs> of sharing their cuisine? Why was it so important to you? It's a uh, part of my culture, it's part of my country, and we, I have especially tradition of food in my country in the south of Italy. Italy is so famous for its food. Yeah. It's also so famous for its opera. Yes, of Why do you think those two marry so well together? Why do you think food and opera are a part of each other? But I think that uh, opera and food are, and cooking are two uh, wonderful arts. And in my kitchen, everything war, um, uh, born from my heart, like on stage. Mm. And I think uh, the, the food is a big, 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 really melody of our life. For those who want to know how does an opera star say, stay in such good shape, you have to you know, perform every night at such a high level. What do you eat, what do you drink in order to maintain that discipline? When we rehearse, uh, we need uh, a lot of protein. Mm. But when we mm, have to, to do the performance, we need more uh, carbohydrate. Carbo Carbohydrates? Carbide. And why is that? Because we need the, the fast energy. Mm. And uh, Whereas when you're rehearsing, you need the energy the whole day. Yes, <laughs> yes. especially in the evening. Mm. Concentrate in the evening when you have to do your best on stage. Mm. What do you do to keep your voice in shape in terms of what you're drinking and eating? Before the show? Mm. But in the morning I start to speak very slowly, quiet, mm. and then uh, usually I go to the to my dressing into my dressing room two hours half before the performance and uh, I, try, I, I start to warm up my voice very slowly. It's usually I drink uh, warm water, not mm. cold, not uh, hot. And uh, before, one hour before, I eat one banana just for the magnesium and energy. potassium and the energy, yes. <laughs> You're going to make us your gnocchi today. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about this dish and why it's so important to you. But this dish is very famous in Italy, in the south of Italy. Mm. Our tradition is full of pasta made in at home. This dish is uh, from my family. Mm. And I remember when my mom prepared this mm. for, the, for Sunday when, I, when we are all together. It's a very simple dish, but you can find inside the smell of my country. Well, will you take us into the kitchen and show us the steps to make it? Yes, of course. All right. Now we, mm, I cook, I prepare for you my gnocchi, my recipe from my family. Okay, we start. We need 500 grams of flour. We test two eggs, just a little bit water. You have to test the humidity of the flour. a pinch of salt and then we start to meet. We, we have to do very, really slowly because we have to mix the, the eggs and the water and take very slowly the flour. Soft but not sticky and you have to, to do this work The, the important is that the, the dough could be like that. So you have to tax the texture of dough. And you have to work easy, not with a strong force. This dough have to rest for 30 minutes, covered by something or um, plastic. Uh, okay, we are ready for the next uh, passage. You have to divide the dough in a little part, something like that, but keep attention and cover every time the dough because it could be not dried. And you have to create some special snake with the, this part of the end. Okay. 
you have to cut in a little piece this is snake like that and then we need the special we need this for the gnocchi and with two fingers you have to do this or you can use um, another on a fork too the important is press very well because you have to create inside this this is most important for cooking very well this pasta we are ready to cook the um, my Italian pasta my gnocchi we have hot water we put inside a little bit olive oil and then we put inside they are ready when they rise up we have to wait probably three three four minutes we are ready to take off the gnocchi they are raised up we put the gnocchi in the tomato sauce we are ready to, to put in the deep dish we add some smoked mozzarella and then we put some pecorino cheese we are ready and now this is my gnocchi enjoy your meal my love new york 